morning, everyone. Uh, I am glad uh, to be a participant in the International Conference on Systems and Control. Uh, my name is uh, Ammar Abdul Karim. I'm an associate professor at the Institute of Electric and Electronic Engineering, Umerdas University, Algeria. I would like to present my work, which is entitled Robust Model, Model Predictive Control for Induction Motor Drive Using Disturbance Observer with AMRAS Estimator. Let's start by my presentation outlines. We start by problematic review and objectives. Then we present the system configuration and modeling. Then we pass to the application of FCS model predictive control on the induction motor. Then we move to the design of the load disturbance observer and the design of model reference adaptive system. After that, we present the simulation results and we end up with a conclusion. The control strategy. Generally, the conventional control strategies that use it for the control of AC machines like field-oriented control and director control present some advantages, such as the simple design and the decoupled control. However, in the same time, they present a plenty of disadvantages, such as the high reverse variable switching frequency, non-robust dynamic and coordinate transformation. In order to have a high performance electric AC machine drive, and if we want to address a such point like the power quality and the robustness, we have to move to or to other advanced control strategies like the artificial intelligence techniques and robust control based uh, controller. But today we are going to talk about the model predictive control. The model predictive control have the ability to predict the future, the future behavior of the control system, then it can select the proper control action for this uh, system. Generally, the model predictive control divided into three categories. The first one is the continuous model predictive control or generalized model predictive control, GPC. The second category is the discontinuous or the finite control set model predictive control. And the third category is the deadbeat model predictive control. Today, we are going to focus on the finite control set model predictive control. We can see that each one of these control techniques has its own features. So why the model predictive control finite control set is particularly suited for the power electronics? Generally, the model predictive control has many characteristics. So like the nonlinearity and the finite the number of switches, constraint, uh, other constraints, the discrete nature of the control strategy, and the definition in its design. We need to define the power converters and its speed, make it very suitable for the application of uh, power electronics. And here, some application of some applications of the model predictive control, for example, for the grid connected power converters, motor drives, and the HVDC systems. On the other hand, if we want to improve the performance of our control strategy, we need an accurate measurement. However, when we talk about measurement, it means that we are talking about sensors. The sensors are accompanied with a lot of uh, disadvantages, such as the high cost and the fragility. As an alternative, we can use the sensorless control algorithms. In this work, we are going to present two control, sensorless control techniques. The first one is the disturbance observer that's based on an extended state observer. The second one is the model reference adaptive system, AMRAS. Therefore, the objectives of this work, firstly, to present model predictive control for an induction motor inner loop uh, control in order to overcome uh, the drawbacks of the conventional director control, the conjunction of the model predictive control with the disturbance observer to offer advantages, especially the estimation of the load disturbance and improve the robustness of the system. Then we estimate the rotor speed using model reference adaptive system observer in order to eliminate the mechanical sensor and improve the system reliability. The effectiveness of the presented algorithms will be investigated in the environment of MATLAB simulating. So now let's present the modeling of the system. The main element in the drive system is the induction motor. Here is the mathematical model 
of the induction motor. This model has been obtained after doing DQ transformation in order to simplify the system from three phase to two phases system, where the system here is presented in a complex form. The second main element in the drive system is the power converter, which is a two level voltage source inverter that have six that has six switches igbts the voltage vector generated is in this case is given by this equation this converter has eight possible switching states two of them are non-active states which are v0 and uh, v7 now let's uh, come to the application of the model predictive control on the induction motor the finance uh, the finance state model predictive control can be applied through three main steps. The first step is the estimation that we use the, the machine model in order to re regenerate different quantities such as the torque and the stator flux using those equations. The second step is the prediction. Before doing the prediction, we have to do the discretization. In this technique, we use the Euler forward discretization equation that are shown here. Then we can do the prediction to the predict the control quantities to a future horizon. Here, the predicted current, the predicted flux, and the predicted torque, where H represents the prediction horizon. And in this case, H is equal to one, which means that we are doing the prediction just for one few period in the future. Now, the third step is the cost function optimization. Of course, the cost function contain the, co the cost rate where it's try to minimize the error between the predicted flux and torque with estimated flux and torque. Then we select the voltage vector that is, that is corresponding to the minimum cost function. And it also contain other constraints like the weighting factors and other control terms. Here is the flow chart of the application of the model predictive control to control the torque and the flux of induction motor. And in the right side, the control scheme is shown where it's contained all the phases, the, first, the, the estimation phase, the prediction phase, and the cost function optimization phase. The load disturbance observer design, the, the DOB can be considered as a conventional state observer with one additional ability. This extent observer, Reconstruct the main state of our system. In addition to it, can it can estimate the external disturbance. Of course, in this case, this observer will be applied for the speed control loop. So we, based on the, the dynamic equation of the induction motor, then it can be rewritten in this form, where D represents all the disturbances, including the load, the friction, the inertia, and modeling error. Then the, the observer model can be presented in the following form. We can say that this observer do have has two functions. The first function is to estimate the speed state and its disturbance, and the second function is to control the torque loop, where the reference torque is is given by this equation. And this figure shows the diagram of the disturbance observer, where it consists of a conventional proportional controller with extended state observer that estimate the disturbance, which make this controller able to reject this disturbance. Now let's move to the model reference adaptive system AMRAS. We know that AMRAS generally based on the comparison of two models. The first model that's called the reference model that does not contain any adaptive quantity in this case, which is the rotor speed, and the second model which contains the adaptive quantity, which is the rotor speed. And after the comparison between those two modules, we can estimate this adaptive quantity through uh, the adaptation mechanism. In this case, we use a conventional PI controller as an adaptation mechanism notes that MRAS estimates one parameter in each time. This uh, figure shows the block diagram of the, uh, the MRAS observer that we show the reference model compared to the adaptive model. 
then the, the, uh, through the adaptation mechanism, we can estimate the adaptive quantity, which is the rotor speed. This control diagram shows the global diagram of the proposed control strategy, the model predictive control, the disturbance observer, and the AMRAS speed estimator. Now let's move to the simulation results. This phase will be divided into three steps. The first step is the performance analysis of the DOB-based model predictive control of the induction motor, then the load disturbance using the disturbance observer, then the speed estimation using AMRAS. This phase will be represented as a comparative study between the predictive torque control based on conventional BI controller for speed loop compared to the predictive control based on disturbance observer for the speed loop, where the first figure show the rotor speed, the second figure show the electromagnetic torque, and the third figure show the starter current. We can notice that in case of the disturbance observer, the, the speed drop due to the application of five uh, newton meter of load has been has been compensated. In addition to, in case of the torque, we can say that the response to of the torque due to the load application become faster compared with the case of the PI uh, controller. For the comparison of the starter current, let's compare the total harmonic distortion of the current. We can say that the total harmonic distortion in case of the DOB has been reduced when it is equal to 8.85 compared to the previous case when we use the conventional PI, PI controller where the total harmonic distortion was equal to 9.15%. And those figures show the flux axis and the flux uh, magnitude. We can say that the flux magnitude is smooth in both cases since we are using the model predictive control for the inner loops to control these induction motors. Now let's move to the second phase of the, those simulation results where we show the applied disturbance on the system and the estimated disturbance using the disturbance observer. We can see that the estimated quantity uh, follow uh, correctly the applied uh, disturbance which reflect the, eff the, eff the effectiveness of the proposed disturbance observer. The third phase, we show the rotor speed uh, with its different quantities, the measured speed, the, the speed estimated using AMRAS, and the speed estimated using the disturbance observer. We can say that the estimation error converges to zero in the steady state. And the second test is the low speed test, we can see that different speed quantities have a perfect superposition under this hard condition, which is the load speed under 10 uh, radian per second uh, per second speed. So as a summary, we can say that this, the proposed control strategy still have uh, many challenges, such as the variable switching frequency, the high computation demanding, and the weighting factor problem. However, we can propose other opportunities in order to improve this proposed control strategy, such as fixing the switching frequency by injecting uh, the PWM modulator to uh, the model predictive control using a pow pow powerful, powerful hardware like the FPGAs in order to implement this control strategy and to propose other control strategies without weighting uh, factor. Despite some disadvantages, the model predictive control has high flexibility in order to handle more constraints and improve the control performance. As a conclusion, uh, this work presents an evaluation of the finite state predictive control method with the disturbance observer and AMRAS for, for induction motor drive. The MPC method offers reduced ripples and better current waveform despite that they operate under a variable switching frequency. The model predictive control preserves good properties of the previous con controllers and offer more advantages. In addition, the extended state observer uses to estimate the load disturbance in order to improve the raw control robustness and load disturbance rejection ability. Finally, the MRAS has a perfect uh, superposition for speed quantities and it can operate under uh, different speed values, even the low, the very low speed 
values which preserve high estimation accuracy and control stability. Thank you for your attention and your questions are welcome.